I'm James from Valwhite Marine and today I'm going to show you over this Haynes 320 aft cabin cruiser. So I brought you up on board onto the starboard side and we're just going to walk along into the aft deck of this boat. Being an aft cabin boat this does give you a raised area to enjoy the view going by for your guests and also a helm position where you get maximum visibility. The setup on this boat is for a port side helm. You can see all the controls there, um, including your bow thruster to help you get along. Fitted with this boat is uh, a hot air outlet from the main warm air heating system. You can just see it down there above the helm position. It's a little bit of condensation off the screen and also make it more comfortable on those colder days. Turning around to look at the rear of this aft deck, you've got an excellent amount of seating running right across the back of the boat um, with storage lockers underneath, as you might imagine. I'll just give you a quick look in there. So to give an idea on the starboard side, you've got uh, your gas locker. Um, you can just take a look in there with your bubble tester and so on, two gas bottles. The center section uh, is removable, so that'll give you those two cushions lift out and take you down onto the swim platform of the boat. And then over on the port side here, you've got a much larger locker, which is really useful. Um, you could even get a, a fender or two in there, ropes, uh, mooring spikes, and things like that. You've also got your life ring up here as well. The access yeah. to the side decks on these boats is excellent uh, with a steadying handrail all the way around and wide gangways so that you always feel safe when you're moving around and working the boat. We've set the canopies up on this boat today to give you some shelter um, being under cover and also the rear screen being in to give you a little bit of protection from the wind. We've got the front section of the screen rolled right up, but those alternatively are removable. And then the side sections we've taken out as well. And just hope that this demonstrates a little bit of the flexibility that you've got to have this boat the way you want it. Um, the stainless steel arch that you can see there, once all the canopies are removed, will just fold to the rear and that gives you your minimum air draft. Once you're down below in the cabin of this boat, you're initially struck by two things. One is the amount of light that floods in from these large windows all the way around. And the second is just the amount of space uh, and feeling of spaciousness that the boat gives you. Over on the starboard side, you've got this dinette area with a table which is freestanding. The height's adjustable. Um, there are drawers underneath and you can see that the centre section, once the table's pulled out, slides forward and this will create an occasional double berth. On the port side you have a spacious corner seat with drawer underneath. After that seating we have a large double storage cupboard. Uh, there's power points on top with USB and television uh, outlet for a place for, to put your TV. And then the single cupboard as we go after that is where all the, key, the power is for the boat. You can see you've got your battery master switches in there and all your other controls. There's also the handle for the manual bilge pump and the fuel cutoff. There's a lot of attention to detail on these boats and as well as the, the maker's plate that you'll see on the back of the cupboard door. What's a nice feature is that as soon as you open that door, it's got electronic LED lighting that comes on automatically and goes off when you close the door. The wardrobes in the boat have the same uh, feature. Coming forward, I'm gonna take you down into the galley of the boat over on the starboard side. Just as we go past, you can see the heating controls for this boat. It has been specced with the hydronic heating system. That will give you, for those that don't know, um, uh, heated towel rails in both of your shower compartments uh, and a way of heating your water without actually running the engines on the boat. Coming down into the galley, you've got a U-shaped layout. You've got double sinks over on the forward side. In the corner, you've got an integrated bin and then you've got your three burner hob, um, which is concealed under the cover there with your controls, your oven underneath. And then round at the side, we've got your fridge freezer. There's a lot of storage on all Haynes boats and they really make the most of every inch. Um, as you'd expect, there's soft clothes and lots of attention to detail with these nice little handles and things like the bespoke plate racks. The galley in this boat has been fitted with an Antico flooring, the Teak and Holly effect. Just to show you as you come down from the saloon, you've got storage here 
which is useful for bottles. It's not refrigerated, but it does give you a really deep space that would take uh, water bottles, that sort of thing, or wine. And then going down into the floor, you've got access to the bilges. A, it gives you access for maintenance, but B, there is a little bit more storage in there. If you have things like fruit and veg you wanted to keep on a long trip, that's a good place to tuck them away. This latest generation of Haynes 320 uh, brought the introduction of the island bed in the forward cabin, which for a boat of this size really does feel very luxurious. Underneath that, you've got two big drawers for storage space. And then on either side, there are matching wardrobes. Um, and I'm just gonna show you in there again, as in the saloon, you have got automatic LED lighting that comes on. On both sides of the island bed in this forward cabin, you've got a really nice storage shelf that runs around there. You've got LED reading lights on both sides. And then coming round, you've got PowerPoint over there if you want to have another TV in here. Following aft and coming through into your forward toilet compartment. I can just take you in here. As mentioned earlier, you've got the heated towel rail over there. You've got controls for your electric toilet and your waste gauge. But I think what's overwhelming is just to see the quality of finish on this with Avonite worktops um, and the sort of sanitary wear that you would expect in your home from Hands Grower. The Haynes 320 is renowned for packing a lot of accommodation into a relatively small boat. So I'm just gonna take you down on the port side here to the aft cabin and show you just what that looks like in terms of sleeping accommodation and another shower stroke toilet. Stepping down into the aft cabin, the first thing that probably uh, comes to attention is the fact that there is really good head height in here for a, a, a boat of this size um, and you don't feel cramped once you're in here. The berth is over on the starboard side you can just see the quality of the finish on this boat with things like the LED reading lights, the, the Venetian blinds, the hardwood trim. Coming back to storage, they've packed as much in as they can. You've got drawers under the bed. You've got a freestanding stool here which has a drawer in it which you can move around the boat and take it into the saloon or wherever is going to work for you. And then coming around onto the port side, you've got uh, a wardrobe behind the door. and then two deep drawers as well, and above that, a kind of dressing table area. PowerPoint there and TV outlet if you wanted to have a TV set up on that. Heading through into the ensuite for the aft cabin. They've made, again, as much as they can of the space. You've got your toilet over on that side. Uh, electric toilet on this particular boat with the controls there and the holding tank display so that you know what's going on. Opposite that, you've got your wash basin and mirror with cupboard underneath. In terms of entertainment, I've already talked about the uh, TV points throughout the boat. Uh, there's also a Sony Bluetooth audio system fitted in that you can pair up your iPhone to or other device. That's attached to Sony speakers in the saloon. And then in terms of power management, the boat is fitted with a Victron Energy inverter and battery charger combined together. All the controls are down in the saloon for the boat, so you've got everything to hand to see what's going on and flick the inverter on and off whenever you need it. A nice feature on all Haynes craft is the Venetian blinds that come as standard. Up in the saloon, they also have LED backlighting, so you can play around with different effects. You can have the blinds fully lifted, you can have them tilted as they are, so you get a little bit of privacy, or just lift them right up out of the way. Also, you've got a sunroof here, which is fitted with a fly screen if you want to have that sunroof lifted on a hot evening, or if you want to go down for a total blackout, you can pull that across and close it all together. Once it's opened up, the sunroof will just give you that little bit of fresh air. What I wanted to do today is just give you a short flavour of this boat. It by no means covers all the equipment fitted to the boat and all the facilities that it has, but it was just really an introduction to give you an indication of how much space and accommodation is packed into a relatively compact hull. All the information about the boat in detail is available on our website, so please do browse that. Alternatively, drop us an email or give us a call. Thank you very much.